Welcome back to Frontline News. I'm Michael Sharp. It's now time for Frontline Business. Sales at listed used car dealer Jetcon Corporation have declined sharply due to the COVID-19 pandemic. In its just-released financial results for January to March period, Jetcon says the decline started in March when the first case of COVID-19 was announced in Jamaica and sales to date have fallen by as much as 90%. Jetcon ended the three months with a fall in revenues and profits. Revenues declined by $18 million to $277 million. Net profit amounted to $10.3 million versus $15.2 million during the same period last year. To counter this, Jetcon cut expenses, including reduced operating hours and furloughing staff. The company anticipates normality by the end of the June quarter. It says more customers are visiting its showroom since the recent easing of curfew hours and it is formulating strategies to foster increased business. In the meantime, Jetcom anticipates that in the short term, used vehicle pr prices will decrease. However, with a shutdown of the new car production worldwide, it says prices of used cars will increase in the long term. In the meantime, Jetcom anticipates that in the short term, used vehicle prices will decrease. However, with the shutdown of the car production worldwide, it says prices of used cars will increase in the long term. Jetcom says with its level of inventory, it will be able to mitigate the effects. The chairman of the Federal Reserve says the U.S. economy could easily contract by 20 to 30 percent amid the COVID-19 pandemic. Jerome Powell added in a CBS interview on Sunday that economic downturn might last until late 2021 and a full rebound may not be happening until a vaccine is found. However, he expressed confidence the economy would recover. Last week, Mr. Powell had called for U.S. lawmakers to pass more economic stimulus and relief aid. More than 36 million Americans have filed for unemployment benefits since mid-March. Mr. Powell said unemployment could potentially peak at 25 percent and the lowest paid people, particularly women, were being hurt worst by the downturn. In Monday's trading session, the JSC Combined Index advanced by 2,365 points to close just under 400,000 units. Overall, a market activity resulted from trading in 85 stocks, of which 38 advanced, 30 declined, and 17 traded firm. The June market index advanced 8.72 points to close at over 2,000 units. Stocks advanced for Access Financial Services, Barita Investments, Blue Power Group, and Caribbean Cement Company and Consolidated Bakeries. Stocks declined for 138 Student Living Jamaica, Caribbean Assurance Brokers, Caribbean Cream, Caribbean Flavors and Fragrances, and Caribbean Producers Jamaica. Trading firm were 1834 Investments, AMG Packaging and Paper Company, CAC 2000 Cargo Handlers, and Carreras. Sagicor Select Fund Limited Financial was a volume leader with 6.6 .6 million units, followed by Trans Jamaican Highway Limited with 5.7 million units, and Derrimon Trading Company Limited with over 3 million units. And now for the foreign exchange. Oil price jumped Monday in its sharp contrast to just one month ago when on the day before the contract for May delivery expired, prices plunged below zero and into negative territory for the first time in history. Rent crude rose 7.5 percent or $2.62 to settle at $34.92 per barrel. U.S. West Texas WTI rose 7.4 percent or $2.20 to settle at $31.62 per barrel. And that's it for Frontline Business. Michael Sharp wishing you pleasant viewing.